Payroll item deductions are used to withhold funds from an employee's paycheck. Those funds may also be repaid to a third party or another vendor, or simply held by the company for repayment of loans, tool purchases, etc. To create a new payroll item deduction, go to Employees from the main menu at the top, Lists, Payroll Items List. Right-click within the Payroll Items List and select New Deduction Item. Deduction item types have four calculation types. Fixed Amount, Hourly Amount, Hourly Percent, and Percent. When filling out the deduction, assign a deduction ID. This is a deduction name, such as health insurance. Give the ID or item description and select the account ID that this deduction should be tracked to. The account ID may be a COGS expense or a liability account. If you are withholding funds from an employee's paycheck to repay to another person or vendor, you may want to track this to a liability account. If you are unsure of exactly what account to select here, we recommend that you contact your accountant for advice on assigning your chart of accounts to deduction items. If you are repaying this deduction to another party or vendor, select the vendor that you owe this deduction to. Select whether to deduct from net pay or gross pay. Gross pay deductions must have taxes added to show which taxes should be calculated prior to the deduction and after the deduction. Net pay is a deduction after all taxes have been calculated. If the deduction is a fixed amount or hourly amount, enter the amount of the deduction here. You can also leave this blank and assign the amount to the employee later when you are adding the items to your employee's payroll items. If the calculation type of the item is percent, enter in the percent here, or again you can leave this blank and add it to the employees when you are setting up your employee's payroll items. If the amount of your deduction differs for each employee, you will want to leave both of these fields blank and assign it to the employee at the time you create the employee and assign employee payroll items. The limit field allows you to enter in a limit or a max limit on when the deduction should stop withholding once it has met this limit. If your deduction is set to calculate from gross pay, check the options that qualify for the deduction. Qualifying FICA wage reduction, Qualifying Federal Unemployment Tax Reduction, and Qualifying State Unemployment Tax Reduction. To add the taxes to the deduction, click the drop-down and select the According Tax, or click the button that says Append All Taxes. Any taxes that do not apply can be deleted by clicking the red X to the left of the tax. Once you've completed filling up the deduction item, click OK to save and close. Here's an example of a health insurance deduction that we already have filled out. For more information on deductions, and how deductions should be created, 
click F1 and read the help topic on payroll item deductions.